week at night, an earthquake measuring 1.5 in magnitude was centered in Clintonville, west of Green Bay. Annie Scholes is there live with people's reaction. Annie. Mike and Shelly, it's been the talk around town for days. It's even made international headlines. Some of the theories behind these booms were science, some more science fiction. But word came tonight that what's behind it is an earthquake. The mystery is solved. We have experienced an earthquake here in Clintonville. Clintonville City Administrator Lisa Coos addressing an auditorium of anxious residents after the U.S. Geological Survey reported a 1.5 magnitude quake hit the city early Tuesday morning. What we need to assure the public is that we're going to learn with them and that as we learn more, we will be able to pass that information on to them. The USGS says the booms people have been feeling around town can come with quakes, but they made for a tense few days filled with a lot of different theories. When I first heard it, I thought it was uh, gas lines going down. What was the best one you heard? Oh. Aliens coming for fuel. <laughs> Donna Neely walked out of the meeting feeling better about it all. Just to know what it was, you know, because it made you wonder, you know, what was happening in town. But not everyone got the answers they wanted. They haven't investigated enough, and I'm very concerned, and I am not happy with the outcome. And they are going to continue investigating. The bottom line, though, officials believe that folks here are safe. On your side, live in Clintonville, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Annie, the earthquake occurred on Tuesday, but people have been feeling these rumblings since Sunday. So what are they saying about that? Well, they're explaining it as a swarm of small earthquakes, and there could still be some rumbles here in the following days, though. If that does happen, I'm told the USGS has promised the city that they will help with resources. Well, it's good to finally have some yeah. answers. Thank you very much, Anne.